Welcome back, Kanto Crew, to another amusement video. And today we're going to be con continuing with part three of the booster box opening. Um, if you're not aware of what we're doing, let me give you a quick recap before we get into it. So we are halfway through our first booster box on the channel, and it's Sun and Moon's Guardian Rising, and we're doing a pack battle. Not with another YouTuber, not with a friend, with ourselves, but in a fun, unique way that I've never seen before. So whenever you come out with these packs, right, they have all these artworks on them. And, uh, you know, when you're not buying them in a booster box or an elite trainer box, they kind of, you just kind of go with your gut and do a little bit of ooh la la, hocus pocus, I hope there's something good in here. Well, I'm trying to, as most scientifically as anybody has ever done, find out which pack art from the new set has the best pull, like ratio. I guess, like I said, not scientific because I don't think Pokemon Company is literally putting better cards in better pack art. I think it's completely random, but you never know. There's a statistic for everything. Nothing is completely statistically the same. If you don't believe me, watch the movie 21. Just the smallest of things can tweak the percentage in something. And so, just for that matter, even if it's 0.000000001% chance that one of these packs has a better card, cards in the other one. I'm going to help you guys figure that out. Today we're opening the Tapu Coco um, pack art from the New Guardians Rising set and we're going to open up the nine packs that are left and then we're saving um, for Wednesday's opening the Alolan Ninetales which is this is the hunt for the elusive Alolan Ninetales. So that is kind of the goal of this whole booster box is that's the card I want the most. So if it's not in here today, we got to hope it's there Wednesday. It's going to be a huge event. And then in the weekend, I'll be coming to you from the Seattle Pokemon Trading Card Game Regionals. But to start off the pack opening, you're not doing it right if you don't start with your teeth. Especially when you're looking for a fox, right? Big old one with nine tails. Just saying. What would be this first pack? How amazing would that be green code so probably not we also found out that that is very much a real thing the code thing and we also discovered we think it's dumb electric energy that means this is going to be an electric pack oh i hate this one the really 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 long stadium card vanillish whimsicott slandit muckrow vanillite cast form snow runt Ooh, reverse hollow lunala that might help me for saturday next saturday Six days from now when I'm in the to Pokemon tournament. <laughs> and a Sharpedo, non-holo. So this is a rare though, correct? It is. So the Lunala is a rare. It's not where you would expect it to be. This is where you expect the nicer card to be. But it's rare. So it's one point for the Tapu Koko to overtake Lycanroc Midnight Form. That is the current pack art champion. And we are working on upsetting that establishment there. And getting a new champion in Tapu Coco Packard as the packs you should buy at your local retailer's white code. And as always, the white code usually means good things. One, two, three, four. Who's ready for the elusive nine tails? Steel, could it be? Choice band, playable, tentacruel, energy recycler, wimbod, jangmo, -o, wishy washy, Della Bird. Slash Santa slash the guy off Kirby. Mudbray. Ooh, reverse hollow Delmize or Delmiz, the Pirates of the Caribbean, which you should all go see. It's oh, it's my favorite movie series. Um reverse hollow, which is a rare. So that's a point. We're already up to two points in two packs. And <gasps> Tapu Lele GX on the second pull. So we got three or four points just in one pack. That is amazing, guys. Both psychics, which for those of you who know my competitive deck, is very, very psychic heavy. And by heavy, I mean other than a Rangaroo, it is all psychic energy, <laughs> psychic cards or poison. But, you know, it takes psychic energy. So these are two very, all three of these are usable cards with the Lunala. This has been Tapu Le or Coco coming through with me with a Tapu Lele Lunala and. The Pirates of the Caribbean Black Pearl Steering Wheel that's been possessed because anything's possible in Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, but that's great for those of you who watched last week's. I said this was like tied for second with Sylveon GX as my favorite um, card in the series. So awesome, 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 possum, possum, awesome. Tapu Lele. 
all three psychics so far. We've come out with three, five, six points. Oh no, because these are two. So we're at, holy crap. Did it just overtake the lead? Three, five, seven. No. I. It's tied with Coma O already for best. And it's two away from tying. So one more reverse hollow away from tying. Um, Min Lycan Rock Midnight form. So this is Tapu. And we got another white code. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh my gosh. I think it's going to overpass right here on the third draw. Tapu Coco Packs, people, are Coco for co Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Coco for Cocoa Puffs. Coco for Cocoa Cards. Enough Coco going. Let's get right down to it. Energy cards. Psychic again. Mew. Mew Mew Mew. Slow bro, eating the hoppet. Energy recycler. Machoke. Mudbray. Vanillite. Gligar. Litwick. Nine tails. Nine tails. Wow, wishy washy. And nine tails. Like it rock. GX Midnight Four. Back to back GX pulls. Oh my goodness, guys. Good gracious. God almighty. What a start. Like, I just don't even want to open. I just. Do you guys want these? Because, I mean, there's no way we can top this. It just... So... Unless, in my head, I should have rewatched the video immediately before doing this. But, it, you know, I posted it um, Wednesday. So it's been a bit. I opened it Tuesday. So it's been a while since I opened. I think that just passed... The Lycanroc GX poll just made us pass Lycanroc's artwork um, pack battle. Because we've got six with the two, so three, three, so six, then we have eight, ten. Ah, that, that is, that is it. Ten. Oh, no, wait. Reverse hollow is only one. Okay. That makes more sense. So if you've already commented on that, delete it, because I just realized. So we're at three, six, seven, eight. Not ten. But I still think, because not hollows, they're reverse hollows. I still think that puts us in pretty good company um, as far as I think that just still overtook the lead. We're opening up another Lycanroc who either has just taken the lead or is darn near close to taking the lead. Green card, so we're back to normal here, but you know, still could get a reverse hollow. I think you can still get a hollow. I don't know exactly, but we, we could still get some pretty good stuff here. Green energy. Brooklyn Hill, that's playable. Beware, that's playable. Not a playable. A little mole of rock. Feldum, Wilmer, Crochet Goomy, Wimpod, Drampa Reverse Hollow Rare. Alright, it's officially, I guarantee, in the lead now. And. Oh, it's Trevenant. Non hollow, but I literally. This is one of my new favorite Pokemon, is Trevenant. Um, I mean, it's such a. a ghost tr tree Pokemon is genius. So much better than garbage and you know everything else they sometimes come up with. Oh, that with Decidueye having grass types that are ghost is amazing. Um, Poultry guys, Horn Leech, great. Anyways, let's get on with that. Uh, we gotta sleeve up the Drampa who either just took the lead or padded the lead. Either way, this deck is already just boom, blown it wide open. Tapu Coco with, I mean, we, only, we still have five left, so we've opened four. And we have five pulls two so <laughs> so we're averaging a GX per every two decks so in theory Tapu Coco making me Coco for Coco Puff same with Fletchling here I don't even know what to do what else can Pokemon give me other than the elusive Alola Ninetales we're observing the elusive Alolan Ninetales in its natural habitat. And we're going to see where it makes its home. Reverse Hall of Fletchling. Ah, Wishy washy DX, but I'm not even excited. Third DX in a Tapu Coco art pack. But where's the Alolan Ninetales? I've gotten, I think, every GX you can stinking get in the Guardians Rising now, 
with the Wishy Washy, which is just a ridiculous card for those of you that haven't done it yet. 210 HP, I mean, just damage central. No ultra rares, though, or anything like that yet. Just pretty basic GXs. But, um, alright, let's get just the GX party going. Do the whole penthouse, ground floor. You guys built the foundation for the win. You guys are the closers we brought in to seal the deal. Although this one is a blowout. We don't even need to call on the closer. But let's keep it going. I'm down for as many white codes as they'll give me. Because this is by far... You can't top this. I think I'm done opening. Like, I might just open the other packs now today. Because, I mean, how do you top this? You can't. Green code. But, um... God, so we still... We're on our fourth to last pack. So we're not even, like... We're tab over halfway through and already have three pulls. Like, or, like... Unreal. We're at, to recap, 9, 12 points. I don't know how you beat that. I mean, you can't water this deck down anymore. <laughs> Anyways, alright, let's see here. Brooklyn Hill, Slowbro eating a Hobbit, Kamala, Carvana, Barbroach, Clefairy, Tentacruel, Alolan Ninetales, Reverse Hollow Machop, Alolan Ninetales, Slazzle, not an Alolan Ninetales, and non hollow, so not worth very much. Try to keep the cards separate, because I do that whole thing at the end where I take a picture of every rare and reverse hollow that we pulled. So I had to keep them separate, but I get so into opening the pack sometimes I forget. I need to remember to open, now that we're on to the last three, one of these really nice, because I do like to keep the artwork, because I do think the Sun and Moon pack, green code, like artwork on these are just stinking awesome, amazing, like great. Because I think it's funny that if you look at the XY stuff, it's very kind of bland and childish. Unlike the anime kind of was, but then if you look at the Sun and Moon stuff, the anime is very childish. But I mean, the pack art is so even on the other Sun and Moon, so like dark, kind of almost Yu-Gi-Oh esque. Ha, <laughs> dark and dark energy. Uh, Gothrita, Field Blower, Marini, a Lonely Geo Dude, Mud Shop, Nine Tails, Nine Tails, Nine Tails. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Brooklet Hill, but it's an uncommon, so not worth any more points, even though we don't need them. And the uh, electric Ori Corio. Not stoked about that. But it is rare, right? It is rare, so I do need to keep it separate. Alright. Got five minutes to finish two packs. Think we can do it? I better be able to do it. Anyways, if this is your first time on the channel, now would be a great time to subscribe and check out our other videos. And join the Kanto crew. Green code. You know what? For joining the Kanto crew give you guys at the end of these I'll go right through it remind me all the white codes you guys I've been kind of saving them recently because I'm doing a deck through but we have three white codes right now only take one please if you're a new Kanto crew or if you've been here from the beginning I don't care oh I lost track where am I at okay I'll be giving you guys all these here at the end because you guys have been so great and to welcome you if you're new to the Kanto crew and thanks for fighting with me <laughs> Lowland Graveler, Fletchlander, Multi Switch, Bells, Proud, Contini, Lowland Sandrew, Stuffle. I'm getting myself a paper pet and pulling these so fast. Tentacle, ooh! First of all, Turtonator. I'll be back with Turtles. And a Psychic Oracorio, which I'm gonna have to read the ability later. I gotta get through this quicker. But I do play Psychic Deck, as we covered in the beginning. And the Seattle Regionals are a week away. Less than a week away, and I gotta win. Let's see, ah, last pack. Open with your teeth. Is this pack? Hocus Pocus match. Blah blah blah. Last pack. Let's get ourselves that stinking uh, Alolan uh, nine tails. I'm gonna friggin' lose it. Four white cards in nine cards, all in Tapu Koko pack art, guys. Go to your local Target, Game Shop, whatever, and buy every Tapu Coco pack they have before I drive to all your cities and I buy them. All right, we got three minutes. I got to get going. All right. This poll is going to be fire, but it won't melt. My elusive Alolan Nine Ninetales. Hakomo, Rescue Stretcher, Sudowoodo, Rockeroff, Slandit, Murkrow, Schnurrent, Pathrat, Reverse Hollow Marini doesn't count as a point, but we're not really concerned about points anymore. It's fact. Yeah. A Tapu Coco full art. Oh. Son of 
Now my hands are all wet. Can't get this card wet. Get in here, no moisture. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Sounded like one of my friends right there. My goodness, my goodness, my gracious, my goodness, a Tapu Coco full art, super, you know, ultra, whatever you want, hyper, not hyper rare, hyper rare is the stupid, not the rainbow ones, but the next best thing, Tapu Coco GX. So I was wrong earlier. We hadn't pulled every GX in this set, but with Tapu Coco, we have pulled just about every single GX in the stinking set, except the elusive Olivlin Nine Tails. But all right, let's take a look at these guys real quick before we end this video, because this one's been kind of long. But we've got your Lycanroc GX, Wishy Washy GX, Tapu Lele GX, playable, and a Tapu Coco GX to pair up with this amazing pack art. So we pulled the Como and the Como and the Tapu Coco and the Tapu Coco. Um, we didn't pull Lycan Rock in the Lycan Rock though. So a Lonely Nine Tails is gonna be in Lonely Nine Tails. But we'll find that out here um, on Wednesday, guys. And then we'll be Saturday at the convention center in Seattle, Washington, playing a little bit of some training cards. My first tournament ever, as I promised. Run through these real quick. Only take one, my new and old Kanto crew. And a missing one. Ah, oh, here it is. It's like, can't forget the Tapu Coco one. Tapu Coco. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Um, I, I don't know if anything else I'm going to put out on this channel is ever going to be as good as that. So you might as well. Quit now while I'm ahead. Anyways, but if you want to stay with me, um, hit the red subscribe button down below because I'm putting out content uh, at least once a week, hopefully twice a week for most stuff. Theories, Pokemon cards, Pokemon games, uh, online, everything you can possibly imagine uh, Pokemon related. So check that out. Um, I'm going to put part one and part two down in the description and somewhere on the screen at the end if it's not already. And also a really cool Eevee video that I think you guys should all check out before you watch part two and part one maybe probably if you haven't already anyways that's all i got for you guys today thanks for tuning in to another amusement video i hope you were amused i think i used puns more because apparently they give me four gx's in nine decks you guys realize that's almost a 50 percent pull rate of gx's in the tapu cocos so tapu coco undisputed champion undisputed go buy every tapu coco deck and then hopefully you do, and I find out a little nine tails have like five GXs of all of my nine tails. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.